What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Good to know that we immediately jumped into this cube and we already won our match. I'm going to click this. This is going to go away and we're going to have to find it again. Yep. All right. There we go. Oh, look at this. Hinterland Harbor, Verdant Catacomb, and Watery Grave. It's like, it's like the, it's like the ancient spirits are sending me a message. They're, they're channeling their inner Sultai and, and giving it to me. I love Goldspan Dragon. I love Valky as well. Is there any way to sneak Valky? See, it's weird because like I don't feel like there's an easy way to get to seven mana in these colors, but also I don't think there's any way to like just put it into play. I like Miscalc. I really love Obnixilis. This pack is pretty sweet. It's got a lot of it's got a lot of cards I like. I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna take the Valky. I think I want to. Yeah. All right. What the hell? <laughs> Chromatic Land. Oh, Starnheim Unleash seems bananas. Do you guys want to draft? What if Seraph or Chromatic Seraph Seraph or Chromatic Lantern comes back? Yeah, let's do. Oh, let's do like Mardu Control. So that's actually one of the things I love about Cube. Interestingly enough, like I can say something on Pack Two, like let's be Mardu Control, and typically there are so many powerful cards in the Cube, in all colors that it's not super uncommon to just be able to do that. Do you think Batman drops his bat cube in the bat cave during his downtime? Look, buddy, I don't know what Batman's doing in his downtime, okay? This is a tundra, but it only taps for white, as you can tell by the color scheme in the rules text. Uh, I don't need Glorious Protector. It's really weird that there's no talismans or signets, and I think the reason is because they want this cube to be distinct from the um, the vintage cube in that way. This card's pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to try the Glorious Protector. I think that's pretty sweet. I mean, it's a, it's basically, if you can foretell it, it's a three-mana Resto. And I'm actually tempted to replace Resto with this. The only problem is that you're not just, like, blinking something to save it. You blink it forever. Yeah, that's true. That's one thing I don't like is that... Um, when talismans and signets are in the cube, then like all the colors are able to ramp. So look, we have <laughs> old frame containment priest, not old frame banishing light. It's like, good job. <sighs> Clothis is nuts. I, I actually like Clothis a lot. I think it's a good card. Ooh, I like Kalidus. Oh, look, Old Border Path. Like it. We're actually very white right now. I kind of like Kalidus here, to be quite honest. Hmm. Yeah, I want to take the Kalidus. I think Path is very good, but I think Removal is just very, very... Uh, it's pretty uh, omnipresent in the cube, especially for if we're white and black and red. Like those are actually the three colors with the highest concentration of removal. So, Oh, Slash the Ranks. That card that I didn't know existed until the last draft. Uh, we have Doomblade. Wall of Omens could be pretty decent here. Especially because we can blink it with our, our guy. Doomblade's kind of, kind of fine. I don't think we want Slash the Ranks. This strikes me as a deck that I will have a bunch of... I actually kind of want Doomblade, to be quite honest. I mean, we. I, I think I realized last round that, like being able to get rid of like a Consecrated Sphinx or this this Niv-Mizzet that someone's undoubtedly going to take is is pretty good. So, I don't love City of Brass, but I've grown to appreciate it. It could be Shieldbreaker as well or, or Languish. All of these cards are 
our options. Both of these are foretellable. I don't think it's Obliterator. I don't care about... Power, Parallax is always a card where I'm like, man, you suck, but someone's going to... Someone's going to try to try to play you, and that's fine. I think I'm just taking... Yeah, all right. City Brass it is. <laughs> uh, I remember spending so long just seeing Soren's hair poking out. Yeah, that was uh, those are good times. Wait, on what, though? Or just on Soren in general? I like a... Oh, Vanishing versus Sweet. I also like Blood Crypt and Wretched Confluence. I'm going to be honest with you. I really like being able to keep this up. I'm gonna take the Blood Crypt. I, I think I think the man. Oh, Obnixilus came back. So did Eleshnorn. I I really like Obnixilus though. Plus, I think this format's like kind of fine for Eleshnorn. I think we or uh, for Obnixilus rather. I feel like we're Mardu controlling here. Yeah. Plus, with with Crypt, it turns on it turns on Air Mesa and Marsh Flats if we get them. So. Bob Nicholas demon account to the account to the stars. He's maybe an accountant. I don't know if he is the actual account himself. That would be weird. Oh, the seraph did come back. I mean, it's a four, three flyer that when it dies, you get two one ones like it's pretty decent. You know what I meant, you biscuit. I did. I did know what you meant. Clothis came back. This though, I, don't, I think this just means no one's in specifically red, black, red, green. I don't. Know. I said black because I'm like this, and I was. I was. Now we have two cards that can't kill black creatures, so that's kind of unfortunate. But hopefully, we'll. I, I don't think there should be this many cards that can't kill black creatures. That's just my theory. I don't care about Bone Shredder. It's actually terrible. I'm just going to take Containment Priest for the sideboard in case someone's trying to do some shenanigans. <sighs> oh my god. Marshall, why? Or Mar Marshall. Marcus, why? <laughs> oh, good grief. Oh, Giver of Runes. Also, Pelucranos if we want to jump ship. Yeah, let's take Giver. You know what Bone Shredder can kill? Absolutely nothing. No creature has ever been put into a graveyard due to a Bone Shredder. It's never happened. Your own dudes. It's true. Oh, Slash the Ranks came back. It's not terrible. That guy's all right. Sure. Oh, Archon of Coronation. This card's actually sweet. You become the Monarch, and as long as you're the Monarch, damage does not cause you to lose life, which is pretty insane. So they actually have to straight up kill this guy? Yeah, we're definitely taking this. This is a card I consider putting in my Vintage Cube because it's just kind of sweet. I think, is this card in Commander Legends? Yes. So I'll probably pick that guy up too. Underground Sea. Wow, that's a good looking. That's a good looking land that just taps for blue. Clearly, I 
almost tempted to take this B Esper and then just splash the Valky for like a black. I don't think we need to do that though. It might just be better than. So Doomblade can at least kill artifact creatures though. Bone Shredder cannot. Liliana, are you any good? Not really here. I'm just going to take the Underground Sea because I think it has the highest upside for us. Then you get a pack like this and you're like, well, it's just poop. Yeah, I'm like Ra Angrath's Rampage. I mean, Roman's pretty good. We don't really have Romand mana, though. I'm going to take Rampage. I think it's good at killing Planeswalkers or Artifacts that we don't really have a way to deal with just yet. Archon of Coordination. It goes to the tune of Cal Californication, in case you guys didn't. In case you guys didn't know. Wrath of God. I think I'm definitely in for Wrath of God. Surprisingly, we have a decent amount of creatures. Well, they all cost four. Lightning Helix is fine too, but I think we're a control deck and I'm going to take the Wrath of God. <sighs> Mall of the Skyclaves, I love. Got this chicken that can come back from Wrath. We're going to take a dodge on Avenge in here. Oh, Sacred Foundry. Yes, give it to me. Passing Splinter Twin, I think it's fine. Which magic card is the most likely to blow fat clouds on a vapor? <laughs> oh, dear Jesus. Oh, dear. What about Hans? Is it Hans? Like, I'm no expert, man, but I feel like this guy would blow some fat, some fat clouds. <laughs> yeah, I, I think signals are pretty much overrated in in, in Legacy Cube. No one's going to see Liliana of the Veil as a signal, unless they're playing Reanimator, in which case it's like, well... You know, that's not, that's not really, we're not really competing with one another in that case. I mean, Liliana of the Last Hope is also fine, but again, like, these aren't cards that are going to put people into black, and it's also pack two, so. Clifftop, oh, we do have an Entomb, and I also like Magister of Worth. If Condemning is always tied to straw creatures other than, uh, that's actually, I actually like Magister a lot here. It's literally just a Wrath of God. But you get to keep a 4-4, so. Extinction event, Conclave Tribunal, Pack Rat is just Pack Rat. I mean, Conclave tri Tribunal and, and Hedron Archive are both considerations. Um, I th we do have Banishing Light. We have a good, like, again, we have a good amount of removal already. I think we're going to take Pack Rat here. I mean, I'd take the roast, but we already have at least three ways to deal with creatures on turn two, plus a Banishing Light, plus a Wrath of God, plus a Magister Worth. So, um, we have a lot of ways to deal with creatures, so I don't really care about Conclave. Like, if we need to get rid of an artifact, we have Angrass Rampage and Banishing Light. If we need to get rid of a Planeswalker, we have Angrass Rampage and Banishing Light. Plus, we have, like, Valky on turn seven in a perfect world. Showdown of the Scalds. Yeah, draw me some cards. Give Papa some cards. There's also a bunch of good blue cards. Tamio and Control Magic in that pack, so. <sighs> I 
Oh, Jesus. Tell me that dude isn't smoking fat nugs. Super Fritz 2021. I'm really hoping that Clifftop Retreat comes back. Eh, I'll take Triumph. I'd rather have another two drop here than another four drop in the form of Hero of Blade Hold, so. Oh, Ravages War. That's a good one. We can also play this Nicol Bolas off of this Underground Sea in this City of Brass. You know what, man? That's the world I want to live in. I, I hope Clifftop Retreat is in this next pack. I actually don't know. All we need is we got two sources of blue already. And we're going to open a Coalition Relic in the third pack. Uh, Lightning Helix is fine. I don't want to take um, all this dust here because we do have a lot of colored permanents that I want to keep around. Specifically, like planeswalkers also if you guys want to support the channel definitely consider subscribing i ask you guys a ton it's the one of the best ways to support the channel if you have twitch prime and amazon you get to link or amazon prime and twitch you get to link the two accounts and you get a free sub every single month great to use on your favorite content creator or streamer uh would love for you guys to consider using it here but Feel free to use it on anyone else. Just make sure you don't waste it. And uh, hopefully you guys will consider supporting the channel because it's one of the main ways that I am able to uh, provide content. Uh, mana we could be mana tithing. Let's mana tithe. Are these numbers at the top new? I don't remember those. Mind Shatter. I don't even know if I remember seeing that previously. I'll play a Mind Shatter. I think our deck is almost done. Here's Karn. Mm, that's probably the only card I'm super interested in. Treasure map is sweet. But I think we're actually just taking the Karn here. Karn is a little strong and it's kind of perfect for this deck. Oh, Gilded Lotus is nice. So is Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Jeez. Oh, Crocs is all right. I'm not a super big Crocs fan. Let's take the Gilded Lotus. It's actually perfect for everything we want to do. It lets us go from five to seven or eight. It gives us the blue for this guy. It gives us the red for this guy. Clifftop Retreat did not come back, interestingly enough. Oh, Explosive Iteration. Expressive Iteration. Uh, you have a Rankle without the extended art. <sighs> kind of just like Shambling Man here, but Swords to Plowshares Premium Removal. Both of these are two drops. I actually think we need the fixing land a little bit more here. I feel bad about it, but it just keeps coming back. You know, I don't think I don't think I don't think Crocs is gonna come back nearly as much as you might expect it to. Mm -hmm. 
and Lightning Helix also pretty playable here. Of course, I come back. You can blame it all on me. I was wrong. About me. Three lands. None of our colors. Gideon Jura is all right. Probably better than Avacyn for us if we're destroying all creatures. Um, Immortal Sun is okay, but we do have Valky, Karn, Nicol Bolas, and Obnixilis, and Johnny, so not great. I think we're just taking the Gideon here. Gideon's a fine dude. Got a, it's a, got a little putty knife here. I wonder if we can take these stickers off without leaving a residue. It does not look like it. It looks like it's going to be Super Residue City, which is just the worst. Why don't you use stickers that don't leave residue? You stupid dummies. Oh, I like a coma. Dang. I know we're taking Lava Claw Reaches here, but... Now we have two creature lands, which is nice. Both of which produce black, which is also very nice, because that is the... Uh, I feel like the color we need the most. Oh, good. Something new for you to injure yourself with. You know, that's literally what I thought. I was like, people are going to yell at me for holding this. And they're going to... Oh, no, it actually leaves... Oh, this is nice. It's leaving no residue. Oh, yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. I don't think the hammer clip is still around. This sort of Frank, like, slices his eyebrow off. Oh, God. What a maniac. Bloodstain Mire? Getting Sacred Foundry and Blood Crit? Are there no... There's, there's, there's shocks in here. Or no, uh, dual lands. I'll get him right. Yeah, definitely Bloodstained Mire. <laughs> Can we get a channel points prediction on Frank injuring himself with a putty knife? Yes. Yes. I should make one that's, uh, will Frank injure himself with whatever he's holding right now? Wow, there are a lot of cards in Commander Legends. There are 718 cards in this set. Is that a joke? Wait, no. This is this is including everything. Okay. 361. Okay. In boosters. Commander decks. Oh my god, this is so confusing, dude. I don't understand what's new and what's not. Like it's there's so much. And then we got on borderless planeswalkers. Etched foil cards. Oh, man, Scrubland is a nice pickup. So is Coligon's Command, though. I'll pay 100,000 points if you can hurt yourself with a purple mattress sample. I don't even know where my purple mattress went. Oh, there it is. I found it. Is it Scrubland or is it Coligon's Command? This is much more satisfying to play with. I'll take Scrubby. I think it's. I think we're gonna either be able to get another. Oh, guys! Also, Bloodstained Mire gets our Underground Sea for our Nickel Bolas. Drown Catacomb is interesting. I mean, that's just a Nickel Bolas card, right? <laughs> that just lets us play Nickel Bolas. Now we have Underground Drowned, Bloodstain, and City of Brass, and Gilded Lotus. Buddy, we're living the dream. This is still 22 cards. I can still add, like, Lightning Helix. And I think our fixing is good enough that that's not a huge deal. Michael actually bought a purple mattress tonight. He's paying it off in 12 months. Oh, look, the Crocs came back. Crocs are coming back. Do we want an Ancient Tomb? Hmm. I'm going to take an Ancient Tomb. Sure. That's a late Ancient Tomb. Oh my god, Lightning Helix! Lightning Helix off the top! Because <laughs> Yargle is amazing, buddy. Elspeth Conquer's Death came back? So did Basalt Monolith, which actually puts us right up to 7 mana on turn... <sighs> Boy. 
I kind of like Basalt Monolith here. I think we have enough things that... Oh, it's also good with Mind Shatter, too. I want to take the Mana Time out. We're definitely not keeping Mana up in this deck. I don't even, I even like Pack Rat that much, to be quite honest. If we get something else good, I'll just replace the Pack Rat. We have a really painful Mana Base, unfortunately. Pack Rat is just good insurance. You're not wrong. I'll take Mortal Sun. That's a late coma, and I'm just going to take it so no one else can have it. Forsake the Wealthy is actually pretty fine. Or worthy, not wealthy. <laughs> forsake the Wealthy. I mean, you know, living in America, you probably should forsake the Wealthy as well because, you know, reasons, but... What does Archon do again? This guy says when it enters the battlefield, you become the monarch, which is banging. And then as long as you're the monarch, damage dealt doesn't cause you to lose life. So... If I'm understanding that correctly, combat damage wouldn't cause you to not become the monarch. They have to kill this first. Is that correct? Or are they still dealing the combat damage? You're still losing the monarchy and the damage just doesn't cause you to lose life. Damage still takes... Damn it. Okay, that's worse than I thought it was. But I think it's still... I think it's still fine. I'm disappointed though. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Our red is very, very sparse. Okay, so... I think one mountain is probably going to be fine. Okay, so we have black. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sure, we'll say ten for now. Not going to use that. White, we have mire. Brass, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six seems fine. We don't need double red for anything. Yeah, this deck looks fun. I like that Darth Gabry's like, what does that card do? And then I tell him, and then I'm like, is this how this works? And he's like, oh yeah, that's how that works. And I'm like, oh, you didn't even know what the card did. Dang it. Seems good. Like 10 sources of black. If you're trading the Monarch back and forth, which is pretty likely with 5-5, five, five, that's basically Howling Minor War. Yeah, that's true. That's, I guess that's true. That's a good point. <sighs> Any black source in this hand is good. Thank you! If we hit a black source, we get to play all three of these. Without that, we can just foretell this. Urchai with the five gifted subs. Thank you Thank so much, you. buddy. I really appreciate it. This has actually been a really rough month for subs. I think it's because my stream schedule has been less consistent Thank because you. I've been moving and applying for jobs pretty uh, aggressively. So really, really appreciate the support, you. man. I'm just going to play this. I, I don't know if I just want to run out a pack rat against the, a, a Thank you. an underground scene. <sighs> and I'm not going to keep up these two when I can actually actively spend two mana here. Urch, I really, really appreciate it, buddy. This is for the bolus. Nice. Nice. Um, I probably just want to kill this, to be honest with you. Or we can actually... Yeah, I'm going to blade it. I was like, we can, we can ambush it, but like by that time they could play like Questing Beast. And then we're like, oh no, that's really good. So I'd rather them just... Sure... Now we can Angress Rampage that. It's like an artifact. Thank you! Would have liked Lance. Super Fritz with the gifted subs. Oh, 269 total gifted. Nice. Man, you Thank guys are you. awesome. I love you guys. Really, really appreciate it. Super Fritz, you are wonderful. A wonderful Thank gentleman. You. 
Urchai, you are also the best. Thank you. Do you just mind shatter them for two? I feel like that's probably good because if we hit another land, I'd rather play Ob. Thank you. And it's random, so we hit a coma. Oh yeah, get that thing out of your freaking hand. Like it's just it's just him to Torok for four, right? And that's land. Oh, love it. Don't counter, don't counter, don't counter. No way me, no way me, no way me, no way me. Oh yeah. Draw that card. Oh no. Oh no. That's the rudest thing you could have done. Oh no. Do 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 do. All right. Oh, Gideon Jurura. They have one card in hand. Oh, this feels good. We could also go rat, make a second rat. Rat, make a second rat. I think just getting Planeswalkers on the board is probably more effective. During your turn, come at me, bro. Look at that. Hold on, what does it say? If a player's life total falls to zero, they lose the game. Buddy, if you're in Magic Online and you have to be reminded of that. <clears throat> Bobby Beast quit his accounting gig to live among the apes. <laughs> What a thing to say. Oh, Den Protector. That's pretty good. That's really un unfortunate. Oh, fudge. That's actually really hard to deal with. Yep, they're going to flip down, protector, get back coma, because coma's a banana banger. Who big oof. So we can go one, two, three, four, five. Uh, I guess we'll just play. Do we play a rat here? Yeah, let's play a rat. Maybe. I mean, otherwise we took two for nothing. Sure, whatever. Jesus, Coma's gonna be bananas next turn. I guess they tap out. Wrath of God can't even kill it. Oh, good. Well, that's the end of that. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Save Pack Rat when we have Wrath of God in hand. Oh, they're not going to play it. Huh. Well, let's get busy beating. What is this? Just top deck? Sure. This is just creature, right? Not an angel creature? Sure. Well, that's frustrating. I actually don't know why you'd play that over coma there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, this is pretty good. We can play this into this. So it does get rid of coma if they tap out for a big fat coma. Which I think they're going to do. What the fuck? Come on, just play the coma, bro. Actually, we're a control deck. I'll just leave that. <laughs> I 
Okay, so now I kill your course of portal and I get to steal your coma if you play it. Ha! Got him! Oh, they're just gonna play a Oh, they didn't have enough. They have it costs seven mana, not six. I'm stupid. Sure. Are they gonna, are they, oh, if they just actually tap Nicol Bolas down, we just get to kill it. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. That feels good. Oh, I guess we could have played Kalidus there. Dang it, I'm really, like, messing up. Uh, maybe not. Actually, I don't want to... Like, we kind of just play Magister of Worth because I don't want to kill Kalidus. Yeah, we're just going to win that game anyway. Man, Bustin makes me feel good. Liliana's Triumph actually seems good. If we can keep the board clear, then we can just get rid of their guy. See, again, I don't care about Pack Rat here. I don't think that's going to win us the game. Maybe it will, though. It's still good, right? Look, we have our own coma. Dubs comas. Mana Tithe actually seems decent here as well. That's interesting. Take out the Protector. I don't really care about it against this deck. And I'll play 41 because I'm a maniac. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oof. Is there a chat up? Let's put the chat up. Show chat and the game log. You know what? This mana tithe makes it all worth it. I mean, if we can hit lands like that, how do we lose? I'm just a man with... I mean, like, I would have definitely taken, uh, taken responsibility if we just didn't hit lands, right? Like, that's just my bad. But now we're actually <laughs> scooting along here. This is bananas. Is this my pack rat here? It feels better than just doing this. Okay, that's actually totally fine. That is not even a card I was super excited about, so. Oh, what up, Medina? Funky John Medina. Uh, Jonathan Medina, guys. Don't call him John. Don't call it the John back. Guys, welcome. If you are hanging out with John, Jonathan Medina, busting some packs. Uh, we're doing some legacy cubing here today. Are they going to tap out for something juicy? Do I care about that? Probably. I also don't want to just... If I draw land, I want to be able to play Seraph. Like that. I actually wonder... <laughs> I wonder how many people have actually cast this for its 4 mana cost. It's got to be real low, right? This is actually kind of nice. We get to attack for four, keep up Triumph, and then also keep up... S the podcast is great. Slothmancer, glad to hear it, buddy. I've, had a, I've been having fun doing it with, with old Johnny. So if you guys have not checked it out, me and John have started a podcast. Um, Yeah, see, this is great. Wait, this is... Wait, why didn't it let me... Why didn't it let me cast this? I had two mana up. I don't know why it didn't let me cast. I guess because my end step is not. <laughs> Let's be frank, John. <laughs> that was actually... See, this is this is why we put Lilyna's Triumph in here. Because if they're going to play like one... Because you want to be able to... If they play a coma, before they get their first Serpent, you want to be able to like... 
kill that stupid thing. <sighs> That's obnoxious. I have two cards. It's not the worst, I guess. Well, we have no red mana. We have no five mana. We have no six mana. And we only have... That's really frustrating. Yep, this is our turn. <laughs> That's a bummer. Any land would have been great. I assume they're going to untap, play a land, and then play Coma. And then whatever uh, advantage we had is going to be completely blown away here. Mm, it's also pretty decent, unfortunately. It's awkward. Boy. Yeah, I mean, for a one-lander, we're doing fine, but alternatively, I'd like to be doing better. Yep. What does this say? After left this Kajai's Kachu. Okay, so they're going to create them. That's unfortunate. Can't malicious affliction this. Any land would have been great here. Let's Wrath? <laughs> what does that even mean? I guess we're just passing here. It's friggin' toasty in here, man. It says we're at 72 right now. I guess we're going into the into the combat step arena. I mean I'm really tempted to malicious affliction this, but I can't, so I guess I won't. That's a good reason not to. Yeah, drawing an extra card every turn with the creature that you stole from me. Feels bad, man. Is this round one or two? Round one? Ugh. We're gonna go to game three in round one. I just want to crush. Can we just crush? Why can't we crush more? Oh, for fuck's sake. This is just exhausting. Does that do anything we care about? They can't sacrifice an enchantment. Let's get a red, I guess. I'm just gonna get basic mountain. Sacrifice a creature, Pokemon. We gotta catch them all. Well, this Cobra's gonna go. Yep. All right, we're just going to concede here. There's no way we're winning against this board state. Jesus, crying out loud. Bring in Forsake to deal with their stupid... Uh... The problem with Coma is if they get one Serpent, which they're always going to do because they're going to have to pass the turn, is that like it avoids Wrath of God, which we have at least three of. Magister, Wrath, and Slash the Ranks. And that's kind of obnoxious. <sighs> I think I think coma is actually really strong. Uh, yeah, this hand is a banger. 
turn two, turn three, and then turn four, we'll have seven mana so we can make three angels. Assuming they don't keep up like mana leak or something. They also haven't seen this yet. I think they saw the angel, maybe. Oh, that was a good draw. Let's play that. Gotta catch them all. Pokemon's mon. So you know they have mana leak. Let's keep it in mind. Well, we get to play our mana leak here at least. Or our, not our mana leak, but our basalt monolith. We don't get to play our mana leak. I mean, three tokens, three four fours on turn four seems pretty good. Okay. I'm not sure they're going to have a super efficient way to deal with that. I actually kind of want to get... Um, underground. I mean, it's a two-turn clock, so that's cool. Plus, they're going to take two from their Phyrexian Arena. I don't... We haven't seen any sort of, like, board-wiping effects, and I don't know why they would have them, so... I mean, both of these matches would... If we win because of this, both of these matches would have been decided by uh, call time cards... I think they're trying to figure out how they win here. Someone nerf call time, please. <laughs> this is the Starnheim Unleashed versus uh, Coma. I don't even know Coma's full name. Coma Cosmic Serpent? Cosmos Serpent? Mm. Who knows? Who knows? Mm. Me no no. Coma knows. That's the island greeting that we'll send to you. Boy, they're really thinking this over. They're like, is it worth killing one of these guys? Damnation. I'm not gonna damnation. Sure. That's fine. So next turn we play Nicol Bolas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we get to put you to twelve. And now you have to deal with two tokens. Because otherwise you're dead. Plus we're going to have a Lava Claw reaches. Oh, actually you have to deal with all three because... Okay. <laughs> Starnheim Unleashed. It was a heck of a card. Alright, welcome back. For those on YouTube, I did just take a quick break. So I said welcome back. And you guys are probably like, I never left. And I got a banana while I was gone. He's been eating a lot of bananas recently. I bet his potassium is high. So healthy. I should have also gotten a friggin' napkin. Here's a question. When I was growing up, we would always have napkins in the house. Like square napkins to use with dinner, like paper napkins. And as I've grown up, I've just had paper towels in my house as I've been on my own. I didn't get napkins. 
I just use paper towels, like a roll of paper towels so I can clean things up, but I also will use one as like a napkin with dinner. But my parents still have paper towels and napkins. They're buying two separate paper products. How many people do this? Is this common? To be fair, they also have a landline phone and their cell phones. And I think it's just a, a product of like being set in your ways. But I'm, I'm actually curious how many people like have who use both paper napkins and paper towels. Because both, both of them are fulfilling the same roles. The Trevolution, you use both. What what's your what's your reason for it? I'm curious. Different uses for them. Interesting. So here's the thing. A napkin cannot do everything a paper towel can do. I think paper towels are hardier. I think they're larger, so they're better at cleaning like spills and stuff. However, I think a paper towel can do everything a napkin can do. Like, I don't think paper towels, I don't think, I, I don't ever have a paper towel and be like, man, I wish this was a paper napkin instead. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not using paper towels to, 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 to eat with and then hoping that there's something else. Sometimes paper towels kind of overkill. Not with, like, Selecta sheets, though. Like, the Selecta size are super small. We're not talking about, like, a big square sheet. We're talking about, like, a thin rectangular paper towel sheet that's, like, the smallest selectable size. We have both the accident napkins are from excess to takeout orders pride. Yeah, for sure. Like I have that too. Like I don't throw out the napkins. I just keep them and use them for future meals. But I'm talking about like, if you go to the store and you're like, I'm going to buy paper towels and I'm going to buy paper napkins. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. The cost is interesting because if you're actually solely using paper towels for bigger messes and those are more expensive then that actually kind of does make sense we're gonna mulligan this hand obviously we're gonna keep this hand ship a planes here i could ship a carn but i'm not going to just dark my face got when i put this banana in front of it look at that there's evil inside of him Cameras are wild. All right, we're at the we're at the end. Thank you guys for hanging out for Frank's paper towel, paper napkin chat. Oh man, good luck having fun, big fan. Oh what? Oh. But in a time, be I wonder if I'll ever get to cast this against any opponent ever. The cost is relative. I would use five napkins to clear a mess that one rectangle of paper towel would suffice. That's a good point, too. I think there's a lot of... I think there's a lot of... Uh, Oh, wow. Are you going to ghost quarter this? Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just get a black. That's fine. Ooh, shambling vento. I think this is more important to get down a second black that's not going to deal us damage than it is to just suspend this right now. Although we could make a 4-4. Next turn. As early as next turn. Oh no, Trevolution, I 100% I agree that I would definitely use napkins that I get for free first. This is just a 2-2, two -two, huh? Fascinating. If they play another creature, we can actually go Angress Rampage next turn and then Malicious Affliction as well. Which is actually pretty good. We are going to take four here and go to ten, unfortunately. But maybe if they give us a land for once, 
crying out loud. These are the three cards. Wait, where did the Snickle Bulls go? Oh, they ghost quartered it. That's actually good for us. Jeez. Okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll take it, but I don't know. I'm thinking like, play a dumb creature. Yes. Okay, what does this do? Whenever it or another non-token creature. Yeah, fudge. That's actually the worst creature you probably could have played against us, unfortunately. Like, we're going to take one here anyway. Oh, we're not even in our draw step yet. All right, well. Oh, we actually don't even... Fuck! God damn it! That's really frustrating. We actually don't even have the mana to do this correctly because we have a planes, so... That sucks. I feel like I'm just conceding here. Like, we're actually dead on board. Yeah, that's that's really bad. <sighs> yeah, that was terrible. What a stupid match. <laughs> Ugh. Let's bring in Slash the Ranks. Let's bring in Liliana's Triumph instead of Pack Rat. <clears throat> Um, actually, I feel like, I feel like our, I feel like our deck is well prepared. We have lightning helix. We have tons of removal. We have some cloth napkins that Katie's mom made. They're actually made of like terry cloth and I kind of love them. They're pretty sweet. You can just reuse them, obviously wash them. But like, I love terry cloth as like a cleaning, uh, a cleaning material. Like it's one of my favorite materials because it's just so resilient this is a weird conversation we're having but that's okay so we can't cast anything in hand but one day are they gonna, are they gonna goblin guide us again no they're gonna greater gargadon good old gargles that guy's good my hand Okay, well, it's better than not land, I guess. It's the least you could do. Let's let's put it that way. Boo -doo 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 can't touch this. You guys can't touch this. Don't try to touch it. Land. Oh, Doom blade. I don't like any of this. I don't like anything that's happening here. It's round two or three. It's round two. Man. I'm just gonna kill this guy. You got it. Ghost Cora. No ghost Cora. Nothing. All right, I like it. Land. Oh, this guy come to play tapped. Come on. A red land next turn would actually make me quite happy. This is nice because they can start sacking one land a turn. Oh, fudge. If only this came into play untapped. The difference we could make. Land, please. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. We have four. Ugh. Could also just play Archon of Coronation here, and I don't know if they have a great answer for that. Actually, I'm game. Like, we have a blocker. They gotta get five damage to this thing. I think they're probably reading this. What does this do? All right, that's a good one. Maybe. I actually don't know if that's a good one, to be quite honest with you. 
Still can't cast lightning. I guess we can Lotus. We can go one, two, three, four, five. White, red. If we hit a land, we can actually go Lotus into Gideon. I'm going to block. Like, if they want a two for one and kill this, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yep, this is all fine. What are they what are they doing here? An axe, sure. Did they not play a land? So they didn't sack a land to the Gargadon and then replay it? I would have assumed that was the biggest point of that. So we can go to 10, 3, 4, 5, 6. No, oh, actually we go to 8. I think that's fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Low 2C. I mean, this is a risk, but they have one card in hand, so... And this leaves us with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana on board. So we can go Karn Lightning Helix. Like Exile Gargadon, kill this guy. And they pretty much have to bring in Gargadon this turn if they want to kill Gideon. Like we can also like Lightning Helix this guy, then Malicious Affliction like the Gargadon and the, the P and the Lar. We have a lot of answers here. Oh, I forgot we were actually still the Monarch, too. <laughs> okay. This is always weird to me because I think this is this is, comes from uh, being not super familiar with how Suspend works because they could literally just tap this mana on their turn and then sack it, and then they still get the mana as well as the haste from the Garganon. Like, whenever, whenever anything unsuspends, it, it gets haste automatically, so you don't have to actually do it at the end of, like, the turn. So there's like no benefit to doing it at the end of your turn, really. So now they have only two mana to work with. They can play a land from the graveyard, which is fine, but it's still three mana versus like five mana, which is a significant difference. Yeah, so Gideon dies here. Can't really do anything about that, but we still get to maintain the monarchy. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is interesting. Black, black. We only have one red, so we can't actually do this and something else. Oh, but a creature doesn't die if we play Karn, so that's interesting. I mean, we can Lightning Helix this, Malicious Affliction these. So we have 10 total mana here. I mean, the problem with Bolus and Affliction is Affliction kills one thing. Like, we can steal this. We can actually steal this guy and then kill this. Then we take three. Which is a little bit scary. Like, I'd rather Lightning Helix this. They get two guys. And then we get to Rampage. Helix, Affliction, and Shatter is what I was thinking. 
Um, we have red, white, black, black, and then we can go black, black, black. Yeah, that 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 feels the best. So whenever Annex or another non-token creature dies. I really just want to exile this guy first. I'm almost tempted. I think, what if we play Karn to exile this guy? And then we, then we Malicious Affliction this guy. Like that way they only have the three power on board. That feels worse though. I just really wish Anax did not have four toughness, four power right now because they're going to get two one ones. I think it's got to be done. Yep. Um, then we can go black, black. Choose this guy. Oh uh, yeah. Uh, Nissa or uh, Pia rather. Black. One, two, three, four. So we're going to take three. Lightning Phoenix. Oh, God, they're going to be able to deal three. And, oh, God, that's obnoxious. I mean, we do have Shambling Vent to keep to try to gain some life here, which is not terrible. They have exactly three power on the board for the Lightning Phoenix. It's unfortunate. Yeah, so they get to draw a card and get this guy back. What, do you just have to pay one red? This card's good. I'm going to have to pick up a Lightning Phoenix, too. It's pretty decent for one red mana. Oh, that's nice, though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we can go red, blue, black, 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 play this guy. One, two, three, four. Do we not have enough? Oh, we're one off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We are one shy. I guess we can go Karn and Kalidus. That's, that, that actually seems okay. One, two, yeah, it's, we gotta do this. It's gotta be done the same way, I guess. Um, we go black, black, one, one, Kalidus. Three, four, five, six, Karn. I mean, fingers crossed they don't have a way to deal four to Kalidus. But yeah, we can't do it on their turn because otherwise we don't kill two things with malicious affliction. I guess we could lightning helix malicious affliction. Sure, that's actually yeah, that actually might have been better. And then they don't get the two satyrs. Yeah, actually, I'm down for that. Yeah, that would have still worked. Go and face. Can they deal us five? That's the question. Because otherwise I'm going to start. Okay, that's not the worst. One, two, three, four, five, six. We still have eight man on board, so that's okay. Nine man on board. 
Actually, I wonder if we just go like Angrath's Rampage, then activate this. See, this is this is problematic. This guy can't block though. This is interesting. We go to three and then we risk like a lot of things, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't like that. Thank God for you shambling vent. Um, I want to become the monarch again by killing this guy first. But I don't think we have a way to do that. I could attack with Shambling Vent. Or we could Karn this guy, but that doesn't feel great. I think we're just going to attack with both of these guys. And then we keep up Rampage. Because Rampage gives us a 2-2 blocker, which is great. Okay, we're just gaining 5 here, which is really strong. Red, sack a creature. Probably a satyr. That would be my guess. Non-token? I'm stupid. <laughs> what an actual dum-dum. Well, they only have four power on board now, so that's okay. Sure. They do become the monarch again, but. Oh, they're going at, going at Carnarino. Ooh, interesting. Oh, they didn't become the monarch either. I'm definitely not going to play this. Um. Like, reason being, I'd just rather have. I'm not gonna, I'd rather not take four damage from our, from our lands here. I guess it would only be two, right? But I still, I've been avoiding trying to take two here, so. I'm just gonna hold back with the zombie. If they try to kill it, we can actually, uh, Sacrifice it to the Kalidus. And if they don't, they can't kill either of our Planeswalkers. So that feels good. Oh, we won the game. Oh! You're unbelievable. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're fine like this. I don't really see anything else to cut like we're a control deck they're an aggro deck so oh, shambling vent wrath of god of johnny seems pretty decent they do have ghost quarter which is frustrating but they don't actually it's not like field of ruin they don't net a card from it so and i'm not like net a card but they don't like it's a two for one basically <laughs> like we get to keep our land and they don't Dragon Berserker. Dreadhorde Arcanist? I don't really care about that unless we see some nonsense. This can get a scrub land, which is pretty good, because that turns on every card in our hand. Um, but for now, we're just going to keep up Doomblade in case they go like Lightning Bolt and then try to do some shenanigans. Yeah, this is fine. I'll just gladly take one here if you don't have anything to to get back 
Wasteland? Oh, no. All right, well. Should have definitely tapped that. For some reason, I didn't think about it. I guess it doesn't matter here. And I'd still kind of honestly rather just Wrath of God. I mean, if they have... We should, maybe we should have played Blood. But they have to have Land and Crucible. So... I am going to Doomblade th this. Reason being, like, we're going to have to take three. Then we play a Land. Then we take three. And then we probably crack, crack Mire. So we're taking seven damage. It just doesn't feel worth it. Yeah, we can play this. And then we can go get Scrubland and play Sacred Foundry next turn. Or we can just go get... Eh, we can't get planes is the problem. We really want a planes here. Oh, sweet. That worked out quite well. We do want a second white source. So we're going to get Scrubbery now. And I think we're at a point where like they just can't really deal enough damage, I don't think. I kind of want Kalidus first. Because then like we get value out of this next turn if we do go with Johnny kill this guy. Now nah, we're going to Johnny first. And the reason is that, like, if we play Kalidus and they have, like, Burst Lightning, Lightning Strike, then they just get to cast both of those again next turn. Or one of them, I guess. Uh, three damage to this gentleman. And I think it's fine. Like, we're losing one token, but we're also... I think the things we potentially could gain here is... Okay. One, two, three, four. Big cleats. Also, showdown next turn is great because we can play a land, possibly play a two drop that kills this. I don't think there's many. We have, uh, <laughs> I guess we have Angrath and, um, what's the other one? Liliana's Triumph. First draft, we went to 3 0. Oh, Dragon Rider, I do appreciate you turning off the stream. Very, uh, very solid. Uh, yep. Yeah, all right. So, two for one. This is what we were afraid of the first time we played Kalidus. And then we thought they would, uh, do that. And then they did. So, that's, that's a thing. Uh, yep. Let's get, we have white, white, black, black. Let's get another white, I guess. Nickel Bolas. Oh, Malicious Affliction, eh? I think we, want, I think we just want Seraph here. Like, I want to have creatures on the board when I play Showdown. So Showdown's going to go, it's going to, it's going to trigger, and then we're going to draw four. The next turn, before we can cast any creatures, Showdown's going to trigger and says whenever you cast a spell this turn, put a one-on counter on something. So the first spell we cast is this, so we're going to miss the trigger for it. Plus, like, if they kill it, we still get two one ones. so cool. Kalidus does Exile, so yeah, it was good against Murderous Red Cap, so we can't, like, do some sneaky sneakies. Uh, I'm just going to take two here. I mean, it's not worth trading here. Like, they get to sh they get to block deal two and then shoot, so that's fine. That's interesting one. I th oh, hmm. I think I still don't want to risk uh, hitting lands off of this and not being able to play them, so... 
we're going to play this. Draw four. We hit zero lands. Play this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I think we're playing Basalt Monolith here and putting a counter on our on our lady. That's not going to work until next turn. <laughs> you dumb dumb. Yeah, we're just going to attack for four. We can take two here. That's not a big deal. So next turn we can we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Hit zero lands off the showdown. That's pretty weird. So we can go Valky and Banishing Light. Seven damage, huh? That's pretty good. Is there anything I can do to gain life here? See, yep, that's not great. Just did not see a Hell Hellrider in three games, so. So land one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh boy, that is brutal. Seraph does not gain life now. She gains death touch or vigilance. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like we can go Valky, exile this guy, and then just kill this guy. Wow, Hellrider's a beating. We just have to survive. <laughs> And that's unfortunate. Yes, I, I yeah, the gar the Gargadon makes killing the murderous rider murderous red cap uh, yes, thank you guys. <laughs> you guys you guys are all on top of it. Um Yep. Excel the top card of each player's library. No, we just have to get rid of this guy. Maybe they forget. They did not forget. But they did not forget. And I'm going to pass here and just keep up Malicious Affliction. Big oof. Big fat oof. This is really like good game in the chat. And they're like, oh, you're just already dead. See, yeah, red cap is black. I can't even malicious affliction. Yep. Const I fucking hate black cards that cannot kill black creatures. They're actually the worst. Black has one job and it literally does it to 80% effectiveness. Yeah, that sucks. Totally forgot about that. I mean, there wasn't much we would do. We would attack for five, but... malicious affliction they literally have a they're mono red and we have malicious affliction against the one the one card we can't hit wild good times it's three cards it's a good amount of cards Can they just sack everything here and then just attack? And that seems fine if they do that. Okay, us having access to two more cards thanks to the Tybalt is pretty great. I feel like we're actually not doing... <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, two more cards. 
one of which might be a land. It, oh, a figure of destiny. That's just a playable guy. All right. Okay, so we're definitely playing this and we're not doing that. We're gonna play, oh, little kitchen. Put a counter on my lady. <clears throat> this is also great because we can actually activate this guy. One, nope, need another white. Okay, this actually, this is great because it holds off the Gargadon. I do wish I had one more colored mana so I can attack with Vigilance for seven because that's a very quick clock, but I'm not going to risk Ancient Tombing against the Mono Red deck. Gideon is super, super good in this matchup. Chad is definitely here to rescue the boys. <laughs> oh man, good times. Everybody's gotta hit that Gidgeon. Gidgey, 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 Gidgeon. I'm just gonna block Pia. This guy can't block anybody. I guess it can block Murderous Red Camp, but I don't really care about all that. They didn't sack their Pia to the Greater Gargadon? Are they gonna deal four to her? They are. Interesting. This guy's going to be huge, though, right? Oh, they got nothing else. I love it. Oh man, this is so. This is this is this is the comeback. But don't call it a comeback. Oh, <laughs> you can play that any time, right? The answer is yes. I'm sure. One, two, three, four. play this thing I mean within reason obviously with with uh oh man become the monarch take no damage this is probably this is this is good this is good all right one, two. No, we'll just attack with one. We have 13 cards, they have 21. Have we drawn seven extra cards this game? This is Archon of Coronation. When it enters the battlefield, you become the Monarch. It's a 5-5 five, five for 6. As long as you're the Monarch, damage doesn't cause you to lose life. So, pretty good against the mono red deck. Really, you haven't seen uh, Tybalt Cosmic Imposter yet. It's a big bad burb. Yeah, this is a Commander Legends card, so. Relatively new. All right. I guess we just kill this, right? Huh. I have one card in hand. You know what? Sure. Oh, little... The last card's probably going to kill Archon, I would imagine. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Onboard trick, no. <laughs> That's fine. So let's go burst lightning. Can we just kill them next turn? How much does this guy deal? Okay, hold on. So we're gonna pump this guy. Two, three, plus six is nine. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. S these two don't count for anything. So no, I think the answer is no. Neither does the other one. So we're just gonna kill this guy. Second to the gargles. Second to Gargarino. They just have nothing going on, and we have Tybalt and Gideon. And their figure of destiny. And we get to ultimate this guy next turn. That's pretty cool. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. We're just gonna keep uh upticking Gideon so that uh their Gargadon can't just sneak up on us. So one, two, three. And then what do we have? One, two, three, four. No, well, that doesn't do anything. And this is a situation where we don't even want we, want we don't even want to slash the ranks because we have uh Yeah, I think Valky's very good. We just win the game if we exile all the graveyards, right? Like we're just drawing 21 cards, <laughs> essentially. I mean, we get to go like Royal Eruption, Chain Lightning, Hell Rider, Gold Span Dragon, and untap this to make sure we can cast it all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. At least thirteen mana. I'm pretty sure that would be the end of the line. I'm with you till the end of the line. I'm gonna put good games. I'm not gonna send it because I think we've. I think we got this. But I'm not going to BM and be like, good games. Because they could literally just be holding like two lightning strikes. Man, Archon is impossible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Wow. Got him. Two two o. Oh. Are we gonna four? Are we gonna six o? Oh, our first two legacy cube drafts. Nobody knows if we're gonna six o. Oh. Who can say? Also, if you guys are looking for a little more internet security, ExpressVPN is actually a sponsor of the stream currently. They're working with our uh, my team, Fade to Karma. So you should definitely check out ExpressVPN. You will get uh, three free months if you go to the link in the chat by using command uh, VPN. And uh, VPNs are great. I use a VPN myself. And um, they're a great way to make sure your not only your 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 internet searching is uh, kept private, but it's also a great way to uh, get content from other region locked areas. So if you want to uh, use your VPN to connect to Netflix through like a Japan server, you can do that, and then like get all the shows that are on like Japanese Netflix or you know things like that. It's super useful. Uh, it's a nice way to get a little bit of ex extra security, and uh, you should definitely check it out. Express VPN, guys. Check it out. Oh, we're playing against Uga. I just got some good news. The federal police finally got the bastards that were stealing MTG orders. No shit. That's awesome, Mark. Dude, that's been like going on for a while now. That's crazy, dude. I don't think I'm going to crack this. Mark, I remember you talking about like that a year and a half ago, man. 
Okay. I think we're just going to get a big scrub a dub dub here. I mean, it's obviously a double black card. Hmm. I almost couldn't see it. I was like, where am I scrubbing that? Excuse me. Well, I guess this guy. I'm actually going to tap this guy down. I don't think killing it does anything right here. And we putting a Johnny on four instead is pretty good. Give me a red land. That's not a red land at all. Oh, we can rampage and kill that though, which is actually pretty sweet. Um, red, b -b 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 black. Our player sacrifices a planeswalker. Excuse me while I kiss this guy. I'm gonna crack it. You got it. Johnny's getting hurt. We can play Archon here and kill the looter, or we can just make them ship their whole hand. Let's make them ship their whole hand. Um, black, black, dude, 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 This might be game. A lot of times people are like, I don't want you to see my four cards. Oh, Jesus, Snapcaster Treachery, Day of Judgment, Journey. Let's kill this guy. You're in top deck mode now. So the next turn we can play Archon or Karn. All right. Fingers crossed. You don't get super lucky. Oh boy. They did. Okay. That's fine. I guess they get to kill our Johnny. That's rough. But we get to Karn their Elspeth. So, you know. Actually, one, two, three. No, I'd rather get the Karn on the board because we can. He's not going to die. All right, let's see if you got another pump. See if you top deck another way to pump your guy and kill it. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we're just going to keep playing cards off of this. So, one, two, three, four. That's probably going to be good enough. Okay. So, what do we see? Like, Merfolk, Day of Judgment, Treachery, Snapcaster, Journey, Teferi. Let's get Forsaken here. I kind of like Mana Tithe. Like, they seem like a deck that's, like, probably take out Malicious Affliction. I don't think we're going to need that much removal. Probably take out our own Wrath of God. I would bring in Immortal Sun, but... Slash, that, slash the ranks actually doesn't seem terrible here. I 
I mean, we obviously cast it before we cast our Planeswalkers. Well, <laughs> this is interesting. I think we're going to mulligan this hand, even though there is two. Boat's fine, but I think with seven creatures in our deck, uh, I don't love our ability to crew it, unfortunately. Hmm. We do have two lands and three mana. I don't think it does anything. That's fucking worse. That sucks. All right, we'll keep this. We'll pitch Valky and this. We're playing towards Mind Shatter here, obviously. Basalt Monolith. Okay. This is going to be a scrub land again. Always be scrubbing. Then we got double black, double white. Ooh, they start with double island. Okay. Okay. Oh, what up, Neon Tokyo? Scrub a lub a dub dub. Well, that kills a planeswalker at some point, so we're not going to just throw that out. Neon Tokyo Rain. Thank you guys for hanging out tonight. Really appreciate it if you guys are new to the channel. Definitely consider following or subscribing if you're liking the content. I'm a full-time streamer. I'm here at least five days a week, and we get to hang out, and it's a great way to support the channel. We're going to take one. I don't think they're going to fall in Shinobius here. <laughs> yep, so that's nice, because now we can Angrass Rampage it. I am going to kill this guy. Hmm. Player sacrifices. Actually, maybe Banishing Light's just better here because it's just more mana. <laughs> Get rid of that thing. I'm super new. I don't even know who that is. Who is that? The old Rapscally in you. Mindstone. Oh boy, one, two, three. I don't I don't know if they have counter spells, but I guess not necessarily. Keep in mind that uh a Johnny does not tap the land, so you actually have to target things that are already tapped. Tamio taps lands. What about rap? What about wrapping scallions? What about them? Okay, sure. Sure, dude. You got it. Snapcaster for no value. You're just trying to hurt my Johnny, aren't you? Oh, that's interesting. Unfortunately, oh, yes, we can. We can go like. Angrass Rampage, sack a creature. They're going to sack the Thraven Inspector, obviously, and then we can tap this guy down. 
And by tap, I'm down. We're just keeping them tapped down. It's already tapped down. We're not doing the tapping. If you think you can wrap more scallions than me, you got another thing coming. <laughs> Buddy, I would never even, Chanel, I would never even. Yeah, negative. That's a negative Ghost Rider. Manatai! Do, 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 do. That is. Oh my god, what just happened? Wow, if we had a way to get rid of a Mind Stone, they just lose the game. That's hilarious. Treachery and dis... Oh my god, dude. Angress Rampage naming... <sighs> Ugh, naming artifact? Oh my god. And Thraven Inspector being the only thing you can get back, though, not terrible. Mandelbaum! Mandelbaum! <laughs> Solid Seinfeld reference that I didn't even catch until right now. You got another thing coming. This seems like an interesting recruiter of the guild deck. I, I think they were like, please don't have a way to get rid of my land. I mean, it, it, it turned out to not be a good thing that we used. Oh, Mull Drifter, huh? Okay, uh, no. I'm gonna eat your gentlemen. Don't come around here no more. We need something good, guys. We got a nickel bullets in hand and nothing else going on for us. Correct. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the Gideon was incorrect by or the, the O ring was incorrect by any means. And it's a banishing light, guys, not an O ring. <laughs> Gilded Lotus would be decent. Hell, I'll take a I'll take a a basalt monolith at this point. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Sure. See, now Basalt Monolith's worse because if we draw it and play it, then we gotta get rid of Cabals anyway. Yep, I'm just gonna just gonna end the game. It's really hard to deal with an active Karn. There's a Guild of Lotus. Look at that guy. How many Planeswalkers did we see? Like a bunch? Maybe we just bring in Immortal Sun and say, fuck it. Take out Lightning Helix. I mean, we either draw this or we draw these guys, right? Like, who knows? I'm sleepy and full of chewy chips ahoy. Can you explain how, if we had to get rid of the artifact, they would lose? Yeah, they had, they had two planes, two islands, and a mind stone and a pact of negation to pay for. So if we get rid of the mind stone, they only have four mana, and they die because they cannot pay for their pact of negation. My dude. Anytime, Neon Tokyo. Anything for you, my dude. I 
I think that game would have gone better if we hadn't mulled to five. Something to consider. Draw better opening hands, I think. We could have probably kept the first hand. I don't know. You know, it always makes you be like, well, maybe that would have been better. Who knows? Who's What's a rocket-powered turbo slug? The thing with super haste. <laughs> what is even happening right now? The first packed card. The, what are you saying right The What? Can you guys link it? What the fuck are you talking about? It's a first packed card. I'm so confused. Oh, fucking. <laughs> okay, it's literally called Rocket Powered Turbo Slug. I hate you guys. <laughs> yeah, I hate you guys. Oh, man. You guys are freaking worst. I thought you guys were just making a joke, and then you're like, no, no, it's we're talking about the actual Magic the Gathering card. Rocket Powered Turbo Slug. Okay. You win this round, nerds. That has to be a an unglued card, right? And it is. It is unhinged. Beautiful. This may attack the turn before you play it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh man. Beautiful. Just beautiful. <laughs> Recruiter of the guard. Did they ever play an unset? No, because it's impo it's almost impossible to do so. Uh, a lot of the unsets take into account physical conditions. Like, if you're wearing blue jeans, this gets plus two, plus two. So it's basically like impossible to actually take to 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 convert. I mean, it's it's literally impossible. It is impossible to convert an unset to like Magic Online because there's just too many cards that uh, you can't determine their outcome on a digital platform. I feel like we're just playing this. I don't think there's any benefit to, to waiting, so. What'd they get? Muldrifter? No. That's a hot one. I mean, we hit a land and we can play this guy, this guy, this guy, or mind shatter them for three. So that's cool. Unglued gave us the ruling, taking off your pants is a special action that does not use the stack. Unhinged had cards that required you to stack dice on top of the cards, and if they fell, you sacrificed it. They did the unart cue where all the pictures were broken. <laughs> it's true, he's right, they did do that. Oh, that dude, when you're sacking a Maldrifter to just draw some cards, like, that's totally fine. Like, divination is fine with me. I do want to land here more than anything in the world. Thanks for nothing. I mean, we're just going to play this. We don't have a red. I'd rather not do nothing. And maybe we hit two bangers. Are you going to manatize me? You're going to swords my angel. Sure. Got it. Oh, packed an island. Fascinating. You have, you have Muldrifter. Dang it. I don't even want to kill this Revelark now because 
just feels bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like we're a little behind right now, and it's kind of discouraging, unfortunately. Oh boy, they're really they're really hitting all the notes here. I mean, it's like turn six. We've missed like three land drops here, so that's cool. Yep, three land drops. Sweet. So next turn, this is going to make our spells cost two more. So all four of these will cost more, and we can't cast this. So I'm actually we're just done here. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to slam those like and subscribe buttons. As I said, really really appreciate the support. If you guys have it in YouTube, follow or subscribe. It's definitely a great way to support the channel. Please consider doing that and uh, really appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great time. Hope you have a great night. I'll see you later.